So now in the UK, we have got the Suzuki Swift Sport and the Suzuki SX4S Cross. These cars will be with us for the next 4-5 days at least. So from Germany, I have actually come to Holland. Or rather, it is known as Netherlands, where they have yellow number plates, by the way. Our number plates are behind yellow, hai because obviously, UK plates. And now I've reached another country, which happens to be Belgium. Several days later. After spending almost three weeks in Europe, it's time to head back to the UK with this van to return it back, of course, and then obviously do a lot of other stuff in the UK. So now we are waiting in line to get into a train which will go underwater in the English Channel, and it is like 6:42 right now. It's been very early morning today for us, but the immigration process has been super duper smooth. They don't check your bag, nothing of that sort. It's just like unbelievably awesome. This is the way to travel. So now boarded inside the train and this is a double decker train so we are on the top floor which means that we should hopefully get a good view of what's around from here i'm not too sure what's going to happen by the way that is a bmw x3m competition okay we are off and you can't see anything outside because this is a tunnel something like this so if you were expecting to see the english channel fishes rails and all that that's not happening because the tunnel is made in such a way that's completely concealed you can't see a thing that's the reason nobody has actually got out of their car everybody is sitting inside their car this train goes to a speed of 120 km per hour you know usually passenger trains in europe can go up to 350 km per hour but because there are cars here they're driving slowly match later so we have already reached it just took us half an hour so we left at 7:20 and right now the time is actually 6:50 so we saved 30 minutes because obviously the uk is one hour behind and they announced saying they drive on the left side of the road because driving side changes completely because now we are in a right hand drive country with the right vehicle finally yeah it's oh my goodness we have covered 10000 miles on this piece of van cake and there happens to be another secret storage space here and this one is actually quite deep as well check that out oh my goodness crazy So now in the UK we have got the Suzuki Swift Sport and the Suzuki SX4S Cross. These cars will be with us for the next 4-5 days at least. So we are going to shoot some awesome content with it. So the Swift and S Cross are still here and we are going for the shoot of both these cars right now. But another car has come which is right in front of you. Yes, it is the Aston Martin Vantage V8 Roadster. It's a very cool a car, you know why? Because it's powered by a V8 engine. There's also a V12 version of this car. We drove it last night briefly and we loved it. We are going to be driving this later today. But first let's get done with those cars. Although all the three cars are going to go at the same time, which is after a few days and then we are going to get another two cars to drive. Now this car looks absolutely beautiful. Has the Part of an AMG because obviously an AMG engine, four liter bite over here, and this is actually our house. It's a bit dirty because we're doing our, we're doing the cooking ourselves. So let's start today's videos and wrap those up because it's already 12 o'clock. Yeah, we're running late as always. Before shooting any car, it's mandatory to wash it because what happened now where we had parked now there was some grass ahead of it and the grass cutting guy cut the grass. Everything flew on the front bumper and the grill. So we are washing the car now for rupees 190. We get to use multiple sort of sprays, shampoos, and everything for four minutes, which is not bad at all. But it has to be self. washed so that's the thing the swift is standing there it is very clean so it doesn't need a cleaning at all but the aston will definitely need a wash and the reason for that is at higher speeds now the front of the aston has got very dirty we got so many different types of things to use can we use two at once you use one i will use one <laughs> So I've come to this location to shoot the Swift, and meanwhile behind you can see a ton of uh, smaller aircrafts have taken off, and I don't know what they are doing, but they're definitely having some fun. So. 
So I have finished the shoot of the Swift. I have also finished the shoot of the S Cross, but only the walkarounds and the reels and all that. Yet to do the driving vlog. In fact, I got very fascinated because I think the military has been practicing flying their planes and also everyone was like circling around here only right on top. So that was quite nice. And there were military trucks which were going on. People coming here to chill. Some people are there walking their dog. I saw two military trucks also go from here. So quite a nice place. Only thing is that danger is there that there can be an active bomb anywhere you step on it and blow yourself out. So fingers crossed for the day. So right now we have come to a location known as Cheddar Gorge. People are doing this rock climbing thing. It's gorge because it's gorgeous, beautiful. Our guy is also beautiful, but there's no place to shoot here because it's a Sunday and everybody has come. So it's full of people and cars, which means we have to go to another location now. So I've come to this absolute amazing place to shoot this beautiful looking Aston Martin Vantage V8 Roadster. The car is really fantastic. It's so beautiful. It's so beautiful. I can't even tell you how beautiful it is, but it's super cold. This location is unbelievable. The kind of locations there in the UK absolutely blow your mind and I think it's the right time to actually get the roof down. It goes down so fast. It's like gone in six and a half, oh actually six point seven seconds to go down and 6.8 seconds to come up super duper fast even though it has only 500 horsepower i'm saying only 500 horsepower trust me it's still very fast because it's not how fast you go it's how you go fast which we shall find out tomorrow with another car which has a manual gearbox and 200 horsepower going to the freaking front wheels this is obviously rear wheel drive for the win And the Aston is back at the fuel station because obviously it has a bad drinking habit. When you have so much power, you misuse it and then you end up at the fuel station not once but twice in a day. The next day. Just came for the wash of this car because it got really dirty as it was raining and it was fun washing it. The Swift and S-Cross have been fun. The Aston is still there. We have had these cars for five days. The Aston for four days. It's on a shoot right now. And these two cars have come right now. The Hyundai Ioniq 5 as well as the Hyundai i20N. And we are going to be driving it for, I think, four, five days. Oh my God, I'm so excited. If you had to choose one car to drive out of these three, which one would you do? I know, you would choose this. I would choose that. That's the difference between us. I don't know who's going to choose this. People who love electricity. Time to charge. Kitni hogi battery pata hai? Guess karo. Uh, 50% bhi kam lag 31%. Jabki main ekdam pyaar se eco mode pe chala ke aaya, AC off, sab kuch eco mein sab off kar deta. Ventilation, heating mein kahan par andar gaadi mein baitha. Chal chut. Ionic 5 today morning, the battery went from 79% to 31%. So we came here to do a DC fast charging thingy. In fact, it took around 30 minutes in which we had just french fries and we are out and the battery is completely charged to 100% now with a 120 kilowatt DC fast charger. Amazing. Three days later. 
another day and another time at the charging port yeah electric cars can be a bit of a pain in your rear because you have to keep charging them all the time battery depletes like really fast you drive a little bit with enthusiasm whoosh, gone but you're not driving with enthusiasm you're just driving long the i20 does not need to be filled up but this again and again and again and it's going to take around 43 minutes for this to go full charge yeah there you see 43 minutes for 100 percent charge it's charging at very slow speed 44 kilowatt although it should be charging at 120 kilowatt because that is the rated capacity of this particular charger and the charging cost is actually around 72 rupees per kilowatt hour which is extremely expensive well everybody has come to charge their cars slowly slowly finally charging complete and you can see the details right in front There are certain places where the Ionic is not invited like a fuel pump of course but the i20 loves this place. The car will also tell you when there is a speed camera ahead warning you to slow down. 